I've been asked to tell the story of how Sharp Literacy started. Well, the first name that it had was Creative Sharp. It became Creative Sharp because of an inspiration from the Milwaukee Art Museum. I had been a docent there for 15 years and I loved giving tours to the children and we would find that if we sat down and focused on a piece of art and tore it apart, we could listen to what the artist was telling us and I could see how powerful art is and art literacy could be. And I did a lot of exams, examination of myself just to see why children were failing in our inner city and they were taking the same testing that our suburban children were taking. So we went to schools, found out what the need was. We started with second grade. The theme was weather and seasons. In the first year we served, I believe it was seven schools. Uh, I was a one man show at that time, going to all of these schools and doing the presentations. And the students were excited. They were focused on what we were doing. They were excited when we walked in. It was a privilege to serve these children.